going to introduce yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Headphones, the AirPods things we've got. Auntie, why are you shouting? <laughs> good morning guys, good morning. We are here. Can you please introduce yourself actually formally before anything? You guys know me, you know who it is. Hi guys, so um, my name is Yuzi. Yeah? Andrew Mako. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna give your full government name? No! What did you say? No! Okay. I was like, Hanji Bakova. Oh, I thought you said Hanji Bako. Oh, no, 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 no. I... <laughs> <laughs> Abu Aguman Fan. Um, Adewale. <laughs> That's it, I'm not getting up again. She said Hanji Bakova. <laughs> Sorry. We are off to Naples today to Italy with Discovery Travel. Discovery Travel is a tour company that organizes trips for 18 to 35 year olds. And the whole, I'll explain it a little bit later on, but the whole gist is that you pay $499, which convert that to your currency, and they organize the whole trip for you. And of course, you also need to pay for your flight. So we're going to be going to Naples, we're going to be going to Amalfi. <laughs> Amalfi Coast. And then we're also going to Rome. I've been to Rome before, but the Amalfi Coast is literally on my list of places that I have to visit. So I'm so excited. We're going for eight days. It's gonna be a little bit different to my usual vlogs because you guys know the girl's a little bit bougie. She's always used to like doing the nicer things in life. However, this time around, what are we gonna do? Hostel, you know. <laughs> What's that? Hostel. <laughs> We're staying in hostels. And I'm just gonna be honest because you guys know I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, I kick it down, I slum it down. I have never stayed in a hostel a day in my life. <laughs> I hope this one's gonna be nice when we get there. I'll just show you everything. And yeah, we're going for eight days, so it should be really good fun, right? Mm -hmm. You excited? Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. What are you most excited about? The destination, the not the hostel. Yeah. The, the destination. Yeah. I think with travel, you can make anything an amazing experience. So, um. Just find places to go, things to do. I have a whole mood board of stuff that I want to do. You guys already know. The content's going to be lit too. Uzi's also a content creator, right? Plug yourself. <laughs> yep, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I am. Didn't even drop her social media links. Didn't drop anything. She just said, yeah. Uzi pause. Uzi why? Yeah, Uzi pause. A W S. Yeah. Why, why pause? Oh, because you got pause in your. She's got a pause, she's got like an Eve tattoo. Yeah, like I got that really long, you know. Did you? Is that where the pause from you before yeah, comes in? Yeah. I got it so young. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. How, yeah, are you rude? Why are you guessing like that? I just no, picked a random number. Where was your mother in all of this? I didn't, after that I went to Nigeria, so you know, that's what happened. <laughs> I could never, not in my family, not in my, I had to convince my mom to let me pierce my ears, I had to convince. Mate, I pierced my nose myself. Ha. The ghetto. So we have finally made it to Naples, and when I say finally, it's only by the grace of God all. I have just for you, let me tell you. <laughs> the pilot, <laughs> he tried to kill us. I'm not joking. He was honestly, I don't know anything about pilots. I'm sitting on a luggage belt because one of the one, they're holding our luggage hostage. We've been here for like an hour and we're not moving yet. But the pilot was genuinely an actual rookie. Why did he just drop the plane? We, everybody jumped. Like it was like, because <gasps> he just dropped the plane. There was no gradient land. I mean, I don't know anything about flying planes, but I know when you drop a plane. He said we were gonna land and it took us 20 minutes because we were going around and round in circles. I bet he was just psyching himself. He was like, come on, come on James. You could do it, James. But um, James didn't have a clue what he was doing. I don't even know if his name was James, but Yuzi was like, um, I want to see him. I want to have a word. <laughs> you can't square up. You can't square up to the pilot. <laughs> as terrible he as he was, like, he low-key got his hair, barely. And then now we've been here waiting for our bags. Everyone's hot, everyone's bothered. We're literally sitting on the conveyor belt because they're now holding our bags hostage. <laughs> is Mark. But it's okay, it's okay because we're in the land of pizza, pasta, and wine. So you know that I'm very, very happy. I'm really looking forward to it actually. Yuzi, how are you feeling? I'm tired. Have you, have you, have you gonna, are you gonna square up? As in, show me the man. Show me, show me the guy. <laughs> People are cheering and clapping because we've been here. Hostage. Our keys. This is the bathroom. This is the shared bathroom here. Yeah. 
we have just checked into the hostel guys it's do you know what it's actually a lot better than what i thought it's a six bed so there's three bunk beds i'm currently getting the top bunk i have been advised <laughs> I had to seek counsel because <laughs> your girl has never slept on a bunk. You were trying to go on the bottom. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know that the trick is to get the top bunk. Apparently, it's more luxurious. You get more air room. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so I've got this one and I got the one by the wall because I most likely will fall at night. I've honestly, yeah. And let me not reveal my bougie self, but uh, this is my yeah, it's my first time. Let's just say that we're gonna go and get some food now, really quick. Food. It is stupid humid outside. It's stupid hot outside. We're just gonna get some quick grab, and then Yuzi's gonna catch a quick nap because baby girl's tired. The name of the place is Napoli. Napoli. Yep, Napoli, and that's the food. They like that. They really like the word Napoli. Napoli. Naples. So you call it Naples. They kind of get like. This is not Naples, this is Napoli. Like, this is, is Napoli. Napoli. Exactly, yeah. Napoli. Exactly. <laughs> but, but actually that wasn't what we were talking about. What we were talking about is the fact that uh, this slow. place is kind of dangerous in terms of uh, <laughs> pickpockets, in terms of things of that nature. You're not going to get shot or anything, nothing's going to happen that way. Uh, as long as you don't... The mafia. This is where the mafia. Yeah, no, I told no, no, you. This is not, no, Guys, I'm packing my bag. Mafia. I'm going home. <laughs> Actually, I'm no, going off. It's, it's interesting. It's a different. Have uh, two mafias. We have the, uh, yeah, the normal mafia from Sicily. Wait, no! Don't mafia. give me mafia options. <laughs> <laughs> there are mafia options. I don't want mafia options. We have the Campina, uh, Campina, uh, Campina. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but they are basically the ones that take over this area, uh, and they are fine. They're normal. And they're the good ones. They're better than Sicily. Good, we have temporarily switched to the iPhone. So we are in the supermarket. We're gonna grab some. I'm gonna get some water and like a mulla corner. There's no fridge in there. In the yikes! A quick stop at the supermarket. We're gonna get some water. It's really um, it's really really hot outside, but there's no fridge. But it's okay. I'm also gonna get me one of these. It's basically a mulla corner, but it's not. I think it's a Malacona. Vaniglia is vanilla, cafe is coffee, lampone if you see that, that's yeah. raspberry. Um, are you going to come in shot or are we just going to just hear your voice? <laughs> <laughs> are we going to? There we Those go. Are the, the names of the different fruits. This Alba is Coca. not part of the tour. Supermarket no. is not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just worked at a gelato shop so I remember oh, all Oh, you the, did? Yeah, I remember yeah. all the fruit names. This is called the walk away shop. We just oh. walk away. Oh, look, there's the <laughs> <laughs> like, oh look, there's banana. <laughs> hey, look at how random that is. Unicorn edition. Who said that? Who just made that up? I'm about to try sparkling water, which is trash. But I'm being told that apparently it's not trash in. I was gonna say in the US, but we're not in the US. <laughs> we're definitely in the US. It's not trash there either. It's not trash there, really? It's amazing. Alright. Ah, ah. <laughs> 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 Three, two, one. water is trash. Okay, fair enough. Fair it's enough. not nice. Everyone's looking at me like <laughs> 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 it's not nice. Right. Sparkling water. Try. Are they paying? Are they paying? Yeah, exactly. This is my thing. Are they paying you? What brand is my girl so even closed okay. her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the brand. This is yeah. the brand. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna blur. I'm gonna blur all that out. I'm gonna blur all that out. No endorsement for sparkling water. Guys, this steak. on the main road woke up from a nap we all just knocked out everyone knocked out all of us we have some new people joining us in the hostel so there's six of us all together we're gonna go for some lunch what well, dinner we're gonna go for dinner now and then tomorrow the tour starts and i can't wait to bring you guys along to napoli with me and my new friends i wish i could say i remembered everybody's names but <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. 
sat down to have some pizza. You might get to see some people, but I haven't asked anyone if they want to be in the vlog just yet. So I'll introduce them properly later. I am so excited. I can see, I can literally see. The These are the prices. It's actually really very cost effective. These are giant pizzas as well. So I'll show you guys when the pizza comes. about to go and scout for locations to shoot tomorrow because we have a campaign to shoot we're working together on a campaign yeah yeah you excited yeah streets of venice guys i can't lie um oh yikes napoli there's so much graffiti everywhere i can't i don't think i, I don't think i like it there's a lot of <laughs> I don't look, it's absolutely everywhere. To me, graffiti is like a vandalism, like a rundown area. So when I see it, I don't I don't know, unless it's intentional art, but this doesn't look like intentional art. And it's absolutely everywhere in the city. I don't know man. I don't know how I feel about that. Also forgot to mention we have two deaf people on the trip. They have an interpreter with them. Um so it's one of them is a sister's interpreter and then another person who's their friend and they're just so friendly and i don't know i don't know why i'm even saying that it sounds even weird me saying oh they're just so friendly because obviously deaf people are like normal people but i haven't ever been around deaf people so for me i'm just really intrigued but in a good way and josh is so kind don't you think he's got so much personality yeah, he's he has he's funny so and he's, funny well. he's funny and he's got so much personality and like although obviously his translator is translating everything you can just tell oh no he said one's a deaf interpreter and one's a sign interpreter or something yeah I didn't really get the difference but when he explained it I understood the difference but yeah it's just nice being around um, like different people and learning about them and I think that's what it's about when you do these tour um, like an organized tour and you meet people who you don't know because I've never been around deaf people and I don't know that sounds a bit off if it sounds off I don't mean for it to be that way but to me it's interesting because I'm learning in a good way about um, how they experience the world and how they see things but yeah it's really cool and he's really cool and he's really funny and now we're just searching for this damn location this could work this hole. <laughs> Look at this. We're looking. We're looking for like a plain wall. This could work. It's a bit. I don't. I don't like the pipe though. I like pipe. I don't like this pipe. <laughs> this girl's blind. She's looking at this wall behind me. When you me. wear glasses, yeah, it's 10 10 vision. You can't. Call First of all, it's 20 20 vision. Okay, sorry. So. <laughs> 10, 10, 10, 100, 100, what? Listen. What color is this wall behind us, guys? Please comment. That is an it's orange pink. peach wall. Do you know what pink looks like? This is like baby pink, like blush. Are you serious? No. I this no, is no, a no, peach no. orange wall. This is definite. Are you? Can you not see the pipe? It's pink. No. Anyway. Are you joking? I'm not. Um, what, where's the joke? Really? I've been so sick. No. Look at it in the light. This is pink. Guys, what color is this wall? No, your camera is making it look different. This color. No. It's peach. It's not. Put the flash on it. Yeah, peach is pink. I can't listen, I don't like. Mm -mm. It's a strong no for me, dog. We found a location where I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. Now I'm getting some ice cream. This last sheet is very sweet. I've got my sugar mama looking after me. <laughs> sugar mama paid for it, getting flued out. Sugar mama paid for my shit. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> Haven't you? I'm gonna go dead to the crowd. I've triple, double, triple, quadruple dead him. So he's gonna do it now. He's gonna do it. Hey, hey, yeah. That's the one. That's the move. Yes, uncle.
So we are <laughs> at Don Vicenzo, it's a pizza place, pizza place rather, sorry. Pasta is so, so, so good. I just had a bowl already and I'm gonna get another bowl. This is so delicious. Tariq had this, what was it? Linguini a la carne. Linguini a la something and it was the vegetarian. You guys know I don't eat vegetarian food, like I eat only meat. <laughs> but it was so, so good that I'm actually getting one myself. It's so, so hot. My left shoulder is genuinely burnt. Like, really won't believe me. <laughs> She says that she's blessed people have heard, but it's so painful. Like, just a touch. And she's looking at me now, like. <laughs> now I need to walk around with my sleeves up because the sun, the temperature today is going to get up to 35 degrees. Yeah. I'm finished. You're finished. <laughs> <laughs> Her reactions are priceless. This bumble hat because we shot the bumble campaign this morning. Um, that was. How was that as an experience? Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, Stressful. We've just been doing like a walking tour of Napolini. Napoli. Naples. We went to a church, looked around, saw Banksy, and today is a full walking day. So the girls got trainers, got a light wig on, and I've got this. Let's go. Let's go. I want to marry you. Wow. <laughs> What's up, body people? I am currently sitting on the floor like a hobo that I am here with my other hobo friends. We are at Galleria Umberto one. Apparently, the person who designed this killed himself. Killed himself because people didn't like the other one he designed. That's not the way you should live life, personally. Like, you can't care so much about how people think. Anyways, we're just here. I'm sitting on the floor because your girl's tired. We've been walking up and down, up and down, up and, up and down, up and down. We had some ice cream or we had some gelato. My shoulder has burnt. Have I complained about that already? I don't know. But my shoulder burnt and it's really painful. After this, we're going to go and see the sea, apparently. I didn't even know there was a sea, but it makes sense because we're kind of near the Amalfi Coast. We might even shoot some stuff in the evening, I don't know. I think for us, it's always about trying to get content as well. It's really, that's one thing about, I suppose, being a content creator. As well as having fun and as well as seeing where you are, you also want to make sure that you get the content. So Instagram content is different to YouTube content. So I can't, I can't vlog and take pictures at the same time and see the tour. So we have to split our day almost in three. In the morning where it's work, work, and then we do the fun stuff, then we do work, work after, and obviously delivering to clients and all that. It's all boring, nobody really cares. But yeah, I've had this bumble hat on the whole day. It's been so good because it's actually helped my makeup stay on. You guys know I'd be a goose ball by now. But shout out bumble. This is down by the beach, but it's not a beach. It's like, look at that. It's, a whole, it's not even rocks. These are boulders. Down by the marina of Naples. It's absolutely gorgeous. There is a volcano all right behind me, right there. That is an active volcano. So that could pop off at any moment. This is. Easy, getting a shot. The swag is so dead. This is not the swag I intended. People swimming in this water. I don't know about that. There's a man sunbathing on the rocks. What's going on? Very grand for a train station. Neapolitan pizza with an inside the mercury ricotta buffalo and the chicoli meat of pork with the smoked mozzarella, pepper, and the tomato. Oh. It's okay, I cut your pizza. Bit beef and inside, I cooked this tomato for seven hours. Yes. Wow. We are just about to have some pizza again. I don't know if I'm ever going to get bored of pizza, but it looks really yummy. We are at another restaurant. The prices again are really affordable. The pizza was six euros. Oh, amazing. Yes. Hey, we're back. Good morning. Morning, guys. What's up? I am getting ready in my little corner outdoors. My getting ready says station. 
and the room in there. Today we are going to the Amalfi Coast and I can't believe it. It's honestly been on my vision board and we're going to Castiano. Well, I think that's how you say it. And I can't wait. I have like five bikinis that I'm gonna wear all in one day. Obviously to get the gram shot, but also I'm just really excited for like the afternoon where we can chill, relax and just be there. There's a few things that have happened lately actually that have been on my vision board and I'm honestly just feeling so blessed. I was telling um, all the all my new mates yesterday night that we were speaking about like the last time you cried or stuff like that. Everyone was like, oh, when a guy made me cry, when this made me cry. And I was like, no, the last time I cried. Like when I was in the airport on the way here and I was just feeling like I got really overwhelmed for a second. Also probably because I was listening to Jack Johnson. I don't know why the hell I was listening to Jack Johnson, but um, I got really overwhelmed because I was thinking, I'm just so, I'm feeling so blessed and genuinely so lucky that I get to, I suppose, do the things that I really want. Something as simple as just going to the Amalfi Coast. I'm sure people have been to the Amalfi Coast a million and one times and I won't be the last person to go. But for me, it's something that was on my vision board, but I didn't really know how it was going to come to fruition. And now that it is, I know it's just a beach, trust me I get it, but to me it's kind of a it's kind of a high key, low key big thing. So I'm super super excited for that. So <laughs> funny how life works out guys i have been singing and dancing my whole life i'm here i'm so freaking hot i'm so hot there's too many stairs oh i'm trying to be positive but i can't look at how hot i am look at how hot i am there's no positivity at this point there's too many stairs we've been walking for like 10 minutes downstairs i'm angry i'm annoyed and i'm not even gonna bullshit you we are in Postiano. I am trying to be positive, but we've just been walking and walking. Look at how my hat is, it's on top of my head. We have, look, walking and walking and walking down the stairs. I'm trying to be positive. <laughs> I, ain't got, I ain't got shit. Look at my face, and we're still going. Is there an easy way to have done this? Walking down the road. Maybe if you got Or that. Surely. Everyone always looks so happy in their pictures. They can't have walked down the stairs. It's impossible. I don't see how people can be smiling after those stairs. It is so busy. I can't tell you how much human traffic there is here. But I'm just going to have my pizza and then hopefully just start to relax. Because honestly right now I'm, I'm not in my element. I'm too hot. I'm bothered. Oh, the wig has left. The wig has left me. Good afternoon, guys. I can't lie, it's been a very stressful afternoon for This is me, just sitting, chilling, getting an a pair of spritz. Look at big goals. What? What's going on? Oh, they're running. But how are they? No, they're running, but how are they running? Oh, because of the ground? How are they running? Sprinting, you know. Okay, can you tell us about <laughs> how's your experience in Postiano been? Boy, today was stressful. Yeah. I carried luggage here, 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 everywhere. Personally, I'm having an a pair of spritz. I don't actually like them, but I have to flex with the grab. It's a flex with the gram. We've honestly spent the. Oh, it's not nice. I don't know why people like this. Look at my makeup. What's my makeup doing on the floor? Why are you like this? Anyway, I'd like a, I w I'd like you to explain what you were doing earlier. Who? You. When? When you were being exposed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop. Okay, guys. So basically, yeah. Please tell us all. I removed my brazier. Okay. <laughs> I removed no, my bikini did. top. She did. To do what? What is that in it? By the time you're watching this, hopefully she's uploaded the picture. But. Yeah, so I used two pizza slices as my, my bra. Anyway, some guys, uncle, uncles, not uncle, uncles, they started. <laughs> what are you even saying? Oh, pizza, pizza, it's beautiful. It's not oh, you, it's not the pizza. Delicious. You. Oh, yeah, okay. For all I know, my, nipple, my actual nipple might be out. It might be on Brazza, who no, knows? No. You did it for the gram. So I'm stressed. I'm actually stressed because of that. I wanted to chase him, but I didn't want to get beaten up in, in Italy, you know. So. <laughs> There's mafias and all sorts out here. But um, no, we've just been, honestly, we've worked, we've worked. I can't lie. I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat this one. Yeah. We have just been working for the last three, four hours. And now, it's time to take a dip. Though. It's not take a dip. And have this. You try it. I don't, know if I, I don't like the taste I of it. I actually don't. I know I don't. I've had it before. 
It's the end. It's oh. alright. Mm, yeah, the it's end. It's the end. <laughs> it's the end of it that it's not nice. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to try and take a dip for the last half an hour because we're leaving at 7 o'clock and we're taking the ferry back which I think is like an hour to actually, get back. yeah, we're taking a boat back, innit? Yeah, yeah. At least, at least at it's least. when we get to relax. <laughs> if you know how we got here, guys, if you know how we got I was here, saying you earlier. Us, go and I tell was, them. Yeah, no, I was saying, you know guys, when I was saying earlier, I was trying to be positive, but I honestly couldn't. It was painful. We walked up. When I say up from the mountain, no, no. somewhere, was it not there? It, I, no, literally, we started from this top here, <laughs> and we came here. And well, no, our, legs, our legs were trembling. No, everyone's legs. We, we were just shaking. <laughs> Everyone's legs, I promise you. My legs were shaking, her legs were shaking. everyone's legs were just trembling because we actually walked from the sky. You see that that, that, <laughs> that there, like this, like this, all the way down here. So yeah, it's just been a day of work, honestly, and it hasn't been all that much fun. Now it's time to chill for a bit, and then we are going to go back. We are on our way back home now. We're going back to Naples. It's one hour on the ferry. No steps. It feels great, honestly. Bye. So after a struggle, finally, we can actually smile. Honestly, we can actually smile. Like we're going home on a ferry, like. So what are you telling me that we could have done this to start with? As in. We could have smiled. As in. <laughs> We didn't need to sweat. We didn't need to do any of that. No. <laughs> That's so annoying. We could have rolled in with the other. Like this. If I speak. Good morning guys. It's really not morning, it's actually afternoon. We are at a place called Whip Bakery in Naples. It's actually a bakery but the food that we've just ordered looks absolutely spectacular. It is a burger, a big fat juicy burger and like a whole tray of chips. I'm just done with pizza. I said it myself, I'm done with pizza. Can you imagine me done with pizza? It's been too much. Today, Uzi and I have got a day of content creation but we're so tired. I'll, I'll give you the gist when we get home. Right now it's time to eat. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning again, guys. Good morning. Today, today Saturday. I'm oiling these shoulders of mine. Because remember, I was complaining about the burn. Anyway, today we have a free day. So Yuzi and I are going to just use the time to create some content. Yesterday, yesterday, I can't lie. I was a bit disappointed with Postiano. But I think, oh, Positano, it's Positano. Fuck. Positano. Posi, yeah. No. Isn't it S T I? It's not Positano, no? Positano. Because, as in, I. You've been saying. I've been, I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> <laughs> you Travel what? You, you went to Travel what? Travel blogger. <laughs> it's Positano. No, stop. Positano. I'm finished. So, what, you can't take Nigerians anywhere? <laughs> I'm joking. Positano was a, a lot, a lot bit underwhelming for me personally. But basically, we didn't get there the most efficient way. The most efficient way, personally, in my opinion. There's definitely two ways of doing it. You can do it like the super budget way, or you can do it the slightly, slightly, I won't even say more expensive, slightly less cost effective way, but you get there quicker. And I always do something that makes me more comfortable, basically. Yesterday, we took the the, the non-comfortable route but we spoke to the team about that we actually had a chat with um, one of the team members and he says that they're going to look into changing that next year so that it's you have an option to basically get there by ferry or you have an option to get there by bus the bus option honestly personally is a strong no i don't like being hot you guys already know i don't like being hot i don't like being sweaty i don't like suffering please i'm a baby girl the whole point is to try and get this amazing content and i can't get content if i look like a fried egg you know that's my point but positano besides all of that was still underwhelming to me because you guys know like i had the, this idea of it being this amazing super glam huge place it's tiny it's a little cove it's like one little beach where everyone is at chinky terry was so much better we're going to shoot 
until our heart is content. If you don't like these pictures on Instagram, I won't do anything. <laughs> I'll just be upset. <laughs> I'll be a little bit upset with you babe if you don't like the pictures but otherwise we're still gonna be friends so yeah See you a bit later on evening guys. I am so sorry. I wanted to show you what we're eating But it's done now <laughs> This is this is what we had we had pizza. I'm so sorry. It's done out here. We have been shooting the whole day Oh, yeah, yeah, the kid fell Yikes You know there's a moment between when the kid falls and when it starts crying. It's just silence. Everyone's like is it gonna cry? Is it gonna cry? It cried. He cried, not it. Is it a dog? It. <laughs> he cried. We've just been shooting the whole day, guys. Honestly, that is what happens when you go to content creation trips. It's not much of anything else besides working and just shooting. And people don't really get that. Look, this this cheeky girl has just stolen my cheese, and she thinks she's gonna get. Yes. 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 Taking my cheese, and I'm looking at her. This morning, can you tell them what happened about the towel? What the girl since the video? One dirty girl. <laughs> Sorry, I don't care. Like, how can she carry someone's towel, wipe her hair with two witnesses present, <laughs> and say, <laughs> I can't find my one? <laughs> That's rude. Like, do you do that? Is that normal? Please tell me because I don't know. We were shocked. Izzy and I were like, We didn't even just <laughs> Did she just take someone's towel? With confidence. With confidence in the presence of two witnesses taking somebody's towel to dampen her hair and say, Oh well, I can't find mine. Before we left today, we locked everything. As in padlocks, as in everything. Padlocks. Everything. The same place my laptop is is where my towel is. Because <laughs> a towel is clearly the same value of a laptop at this point. We were shocked. We couldn't believe it. Like that's that nah. You don't do them thing there. But besides that, a hostel life, how are you finding it? I genuinely don't think it's that bad. Apart from the fact that that spooked us out a bit and also the fact that you have to be more understanding with the bathroom times because <laughs> some people take a long time to shower. So you need to just be more understanding of that. But besides that, I don't think it's the worst. I don't know, Yuzi, tell us, talk to us. Listen, no, I'm personally struggling. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it again. No? It's Think about it, yeah. If I'm not with you, mm. and I'm not, I'm not traveling in a group situation. Yeah, it will be hard. Yeah, I won't trust anyone at all. At least now, yeah. I can be like, we're on the same tour. I can hold you accountable. But, yeah, yeah, I yeah. I can hold you accountable. But yeah. Sometimes, not not sometimes. If it was a normal hostel trip, yeah, and I was just going by yourself, you wouldn't be sure. I would. I can't do it. Yeah. I'd be too paranoid. It's not as bad as it would be if you're staying in a hostel by yourself on a trip because you know you stay in this group together the whole time mm -hmm. and there's up to you there's eight of you all together maximum in any given time and you all have one big group together so that actually it makes it okay if it was just seven other rando people it's actually a strong no for me because you guys already know your girls bougie i'm okay to say that now <laughs> my mom Mum herself called me bougie. She doesn't even. I don't even know my my mum knew what the word bougie is, but she called me bougie today. And I was like, she gave birth to me. She, she yeah, it's right. I'm bougie. What can I say now? In the street, Napoli, don't be afraid. Please get Mini bus, you know, underground station. We're just making our way to the Coliseum. Here's my baby girl. Hey. How's life? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> it's a bit tight still. People keep falling in this place. Like this one man went flying down the escalator. Flying. It was so awkward. And then another girl went flying up the escalator. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like honestly. Anyway, we are um, on our way to the Coliseum. This is going to be um, Yuzi's first time seeing the Coliseum. I was here, you remember, I was here with Alessandro like two years ago. But yeah, just going to go quick, quick 
stop tour around the Colosseum, Trevi Fountain, and then possibly go to a bar. The rest of the group, they had a, so today they had a half day, so they're together for a little bit, and then they're, in the afternoon, they're all free to do whatever they want, so that's why we just thought, well, we'll do our own thing as well today. Otherwise, the struggle continues. Honestly, the struggle continues, but I'm still trying to stay upbeat, trying to stay positive, but all I will say is that this is definitely like, I don't even know how to say it. I don't, know, I don't know how to say it, but it's just different. And I'm not sure if it's necessarily for me, but we'll chat more about that later on. Let's go explore Rome. Let's see what's around here. Different cities. And yeah, we move regardless. We move. Spot coming here. Feel it. We've just got to the station. And when you get to the station, it is fully just there. Like it is, look. It's right there. Right there. It is literally right by the station excellent location excellent navigation i mean usually that's look at that how close is it I just, yeah. <laughs> you want the station we'll deliver you wow no because last time we came by foot <laughs> was your own she really wants this girl to get the picture yeah content queen we are now waiting for the bus 51 according to the city mapper and we're going to go into we are going to be going to Trevi Fountain. Your girl Lydia just got us lost. <laughs> oh anyway, let me keep him. I mean that's not new. I always get lost. I definitely took the bus. The right bus in the wrong direction. What's new? It's okay. At least now we know for sure that we're about to Hey! His brakes are sharp. <laughs> Look where he stopped. What's going on, man? We are on our way back to Napoli from Rome. Look at that, leaving with time. Because the bus wasn't late. <laughs> <laughs> we missed the first bus from Naples. No, we missed the first bus, so we're now on the second bus going back to Naples. It's about how long? How many, how many hours? Two hours? Three. Three hours. Are you ready? So we'll get to Naples at about four, half past midnight. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow morning in Naples. <laughs> we have suffered. You know what time it is. It is fridge magnet for my Madinga time. I am literally drawn to this one. And that's all I've been doing and I've been here, eating pizza and pasta. This was the option. Or this, which is like the local snack. But I haven't actually had it, so I feel like I'm lying to everyone if I have this. I think we're gonna go for the pizza. <laughs> and this is Napoli. And they're one euro each. <laughs> Good morning guys, good morning. I've just gone and had breakfast at WIP. Yuzi is still packing up. We're leaving today, this morning. I'm going back to the airport and we're going back home. Ah, yeah. There is so much missing footage. Oh my God, it doesn't even flow. I don't think it flows, but you'll see why when I answer the questions. So, hang on until the end of this vlog. Oh my God, let me not die on the road. Hang on until the end of the vlog where I'll be answering questions about this trip. See you in a bit. We're back in London and as I promised, I want to do like a quick wrap up of the trip. Much like for what I did for my Japan trip, I'm wrapping up kind of what I felt, how I felt, what I liked, what I didn't like. I want to do that for this because I am fully aware, well actually I'm not really fully aware, but at the time of recording this, I haven't actually edited the video, but I presume there's going to be gaps that I really want to fill in and yeah, because I want my videos to be informative. I want you to watch it and learn something from it and not be wondering, well... How did that happen? And I feel like this vlog might be a bit disjointed. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions about the trip and you did just that. So we're gonna try and fill in any gaps that I think you guys might have via these questions. Follow me on Instagram, I'm at Lydia Dinger. Are the hotels not grimy? First things first, I think it's probably important to highlight that Discovery Travel is a budget 
tour organizer so for people who want to travel but on a budget you want to see the world you want to see japan you want to see um thailand you want to see croatia you want to see naples but you might not necessarily have a whole ton of money to throw into the traveling so they are the kind of the bridge in between you seeing these places and not spending so much money so that's one thing you have to consider in context to all this so we didn't stay in hotel instead we stayed in the hostel and as i said before i was a bit weary about what the hostel was going to look like is it going to be nice is it going to be dirty is it going to be clean i was really genuinely very weary about that because that's not my usual style of traveling but the good thing is that the hostel that we stayed at was actually really very clean. It was a room and there was three bunk beds, so there was six people in total, including myself, which is definitely a shock compared to me staying by myself like in a big Airbnb or me staying in a hotel room. It's definitely a shock for me. However, the people who we stayed with were so, so lovely and they made the trip so much better. Nobody was doing any weird stuff at all the showers were really clean the bathroom was like practically brand new so that was really comfortable in that aspect however it is definitely a shock staying in a room with five strangers so that's something that you definitely need to put in your head it's not a hotel it's a hostel was it packed with activities or did you have time to relax a little so that's a really good question and that's actually probably one of the positives with discovery travel uh well, you don't leave the hostel until about 11 a.m in the morning which means you have time in the morning to have a lay in you have time to relax you have time to chill before you take off and go ahead for the day so there's definitely space in the morning and then depending on what day it is if it's a walking tour day if it's a a day tour to like rome or if it's a day tour to the uh, to positano then obviously you leave at 11 o'clock and you come back roughly around 7, 8 p.m. depending on how far you go. Apart from when we went to Rome, we came back really, 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 really late at like sometime past midnight. So pretty much the same question asked in different ways. How did you enjoy the trip? Did you have fun? Was it great? Yeah, pretty much the same question. I have to be honest. So this is a bit of a sticky one for me. It's not a direct yes and it's also not a direct no. It's difficult for me to say if I really enjoyed the trip because one, I was working throughout. It was literally a work trip. So I wasn't there to relax. I wasn't there to necessarily even enjoy the tour as I would if I was just a paying customer. I was there solely for the purpose to create content and that was actually on that side of things that was really difficult for me to do because I wasn't as comfortable as I normally would be so for example you guys know I have a lot of things like I have a big suitcase I have a small suitcase I have a lot of camera equipment so I was I would have a lot of things and that packed into a space with five other people that was really difficult for me which made doing my job harder for me also another thing that i really did not like that i've actually mentioned and i hope that is going to be changed is the travel so for example travel to positano it was an absolute nightmare of a journey obviously as a content creator you you want to wake up in the morning you want to look cute you want to get to the place you want to create the content and you actually then want to enjoy yourself my day is always broken up in sections and i feel like that wasn't the case for me in this trip traveling to these locations took so long because i suppose because it's a budget it's a budget trip so they're always obviously going to find the more cost effective way to get you somewhere and the most cost effective way to get you somewhere is not necessarily always the fastest way to get you somewhere so for example the trip to Positano it took us like a good three hours to get there that was too long we had to take a train underground train then we had to take an overground train then we had to take a bus and then we had to walk downstairs and that was probably one of the most stressful days which was really upsetting because Positano is somewhere that I've always 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 wanted to go to and it was just unfortunate that the journey to get to the place really just just ruined the whole day for me to be completely honest like I don't ever want to lie to you guys I don't ever want to recommend something and then you do it the exact same way and you be like what the hell Lydia was loving and ranting and raving about this my wig is sliding I don't ever want to oversell something so that you then go and do it and you don't have a positive experience so keeping it 100 I didn't enjoy the travel aspect of the whole trip there was a lot of journeys which were prolonged for no reason for example us going to Rome that took us a good three hours on the bus whereas we could have taken a train which would have been an hour and going to Positano it took a good three hours getting there when there was literally a ferry that could have taken an hour so that kind of thing and it's not just that the journeys were long they were also hot they were sweaty you know public transport it's not always the easiest thing but 
one thing that I do have to remind myself again is that this is a budget trip. You are only paying about £400 for eight days travel and that includes where you're staying and it includes your travel and the itinerary as well. So it's kind of like, ah, I'm in an R-ing. I feel like travel impacts the rest of your day and if you start your day in an off bad mood, it's just going to be really difficult to pick up from that. And I think that's mainly why the vlog is so disjointed because each time we had to travel somewhere, I was just put in a bad mood because I can't do long journeys. I would also ask them to extend the time we spend in Rome. We went to Rome and back in one day. And I think if we took the train, it would have been better because the train is only an hour. But because the coach was three hours there and then it was three hours back, that was six hours traveling time. So we didn't really get so much time in Rome. But I again, I addressed this with the company and they said that this is definitely something they're going to improve. They're going to um, try and make it so that there's a few days in Rome so you can actually have a day or two there as well. But the main thing you have to remember is that it's a budget traveling company. So there's not gonna be all the frills, all the extras. It's just going to be basically a place for you to rest your head and then you going around, seeing different things. Another thing actually that I, I wish they had improved on, I, I, I mentioned this to the company as well, is to have more hands-on activities, especially for the Naples trip, to add more hands-on activities because I like to do stuff, you know? Or at least give people the suggestion of if you pay X more, you can get these trips. What were the highlights of the trip? Okay, so I'll probably say two things. One, food. The food was absolutely phenomenal. Like the team definitely know all the best spots to go and get food. And not just food, but like cost effective food as well to try and fit in with a whole kind of budget traveling idea. Pasta, pizza, gelato, honestly just authentic italian food another day that i really enjoyed was when we had a local tour guide join and the, it was amazing because he obviously he's lived in naples all his life so him taking us around naples was just so seamless i don't know how to describe it it was just it just flowed really well it wasn't like somebody reading off google or reading off a book it was just so natural and he knew all the spots all the like all the little bits that somebody might miss he knew all the history it wasn't just kind of facts being thrown at you and i really really enjoyed having that element how big can the group be i believe the maximum it can ever be is 10 but it's usually around eight people max and um, you can go by yourself and you also can go with your friends you don't have to be traveling solo you you can book with your friends if you want to basically and um, but it's usually around eight all in all i wouldn't say it was a terrible experience but again i also wouldn't be like wow amazing best trip i've been on ever because it wasn't it was just like mediocre and i know that doesn't sound great to say but i don't like to oversell anything i just want to give it as real as it is if you're comfortable with budget traveling then yeah for sure but if you are used to kind of the five stars the four stars that it's definitely definitely a shock if you want to see the world you want to see it cheaply yes but if you want to see the world and you want to be comfortable no <sighs> i hope that has been useful and i hope that's filled in some gaps i know this video is extremely long at this point i shall see you guys in my next video i'm so excited because i'm going away and i really really can't wait <laughs> Thank you.